Hey, this is Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for the light workers under the sign of Sagittarius. So we are going to do a read for you from multiple decks and see what answers or info that we can give you. So let's start. We're going to start with the Quantum Oracle, and we're going to choose, I think, three cards for the practical areas of your world. This is all pragmatics info. From the Lightworker Oracle, we're going to take three, and we're going to have those three be representing what's crowning you. Three aspects of your higher self that you might need to know. Next out is the Energy Oracle, and we're going to do these as hidden influences. Things that may not be known, or outside influences, as sometimes people call them. And then at the end, maybe we'll do some animal spirit just to do a little post-it note to yourself. Okay. Right now for you, this is a great time of optimism. Your consciousness is becoming very awakened. You're seeing a lot of positive things. And although the world right now has a lot of chaos and crazy and kind of dark energies and divisive energies, this is soul-minded focus, and she's walking out from a garden that's very abundant and ready to go on to this new space. There's sunshine and light and a lot of joy and green also, so things are very fertile, flourishing, abundant. Uh, the sun is definitely shining on this one. So optimism, there's reason for that for you right now. Um, the light workers crowning you is awakening energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So you're coming into your own, you're starting to know your own gifts right now. You're starting to see the higher vibe around you. You're starting to tune into your higher self much more than you have in the past. And then you have the thinking man. The thinking man is one who's um, in his head a lot. There could be times that you have analyzed and maybe even overanalyzed, but the thinking man might ask you to look a little bit deeper. This is coming as a hidden influence. So as all of this is happening for you now and as you're waking up and becoming more and more aware, it's also time to think, time to plan, time to see what you want to do to move forward in your world. We're going to look a little bit further here. Okay, if this were in the realm of the past as well, and we have the hidden influences, the practical, the crowning. The practical in the past has felt very fragmented for you. You felt very scattered, a little bit lost, a little bit like you can't get a handle on things. Um, it's not just the one piece of the puzzle that's missing. There's all these pieces all over that you need to put together, and you haven't been able to focus well enough to be able to do that. Above you, you have the card, and it's got, it looks like the muse is here, but it says just say yes. The answer is yes. So if the time is where you're questioning yourself, if you have doubts, if you have fears, if there's something very specific that's been asked and you've been asked to step up, level up, or rise to the challenge, the answer should be definitely yes, absolutely. Victory is in store for you from the outside influences. If you can take this fragmented energy from the past, from the past practical, have a little more optimism, go for it. Do say yes. The outside influences are there for you. The yes is right there. The victory is right there. You're waking up. You're thinking things through very thoroughly. Coming up in the future realm in all of these, in the very practical, you have events and commitment. So whatever this is, this opportunity for you, this is going to require dedication. This is going to require very conscious choice to be committed to this, to go forward and not be scattered, to go forward and not just in a little half-assed kind of way, but to go for it. 
above you in the crowning chakras from the light worker oracle it says have fun celebrate don't be so serious where you've thought and thought about this quite a bit it's time in the future to also let that go go for it it's okay you don't have to analyze the hell out of it you just need to lighten up and go allow that light to come through you and shine it's important for you right now the energy <laughs> you have the thinking woman so you have the thinking woman and the thinking man and they both are looking this direction towards the past. It's like, this is not the way of it. So yes, think, but this to me says, get into your heart chakra and out of your head. Get into that intuitive knowing energy. And look at the cards here. This is very much more green and this more gold. This is more heart chakra. To me, this is more maybe sacral chakra, maybe even solar chakra. So tune in there, see what's going on with that. The victory is there. The commitment is there. Let's look and see what the animal spirits have to say about all this. The animal spirits just delight me. This is pig spirit. Okay, Sagittarius light workers. Pig spirit is a funny guy. I love him. I was going to take one more. This could be you and a partner or you and a cohort, you and a friend, you and a sidekick. And bear spirit, bear and pig, okay. All right, so bear spirit is saying hibernate, take time out, don't go out and do all these things, do things slowly. Bear spirit is strong and knows when to think, knows to be optimistic and knows not to be worried about much. Bears are very, very in tune with the, what their own need is. When they're done sleeping and they need to get up and get going and get moving, they go out and just get what they need. They don't go and fish for salmon and just take one or two or little by little. No, they're going and they are swiping into that river, grabbing up all the salmon they can eat because they're starving. So after coming out of this period of fragmented energy where you are optimistic, you go for it, go hard. And then this is pig. And pig spirit, I think about truffle hunting pigs and how particular they are. And they think and they follow their instincts and they know what they need. They're playful, um, they're happy, and they're also thinkers in a very good but different kind of way. So pig spirit's fabulous. I mean, this one has wings and practically a tutu, and I, I'm a sucker for wings and a tutu for sure. So it says, use your mind wisely. And this says, take time out. So don't overwhelm yourself and become fragmented again. Step up to this challenge that's coming your way. Use your mind wisely here and here. Play, awaken, think, heart chakra, solar, sacral. Think from those zones. Get in alignment with yourself. Use those to go forward and work the light and the magic that you know you have. Go do it. Thanks for joining me, guys. Come again. Bye-bye.